he has a history. He has a history of uh, a few women that were in his life that don't think very highly of him, said that there was, you know, some forms of abuse. I haven't heard about physical, um, mental abuse, um, locking them out of their houses, um, you know, things like that, you know, that he's a narcissist, all that kind of stuff, um, that he um, has interesting sexual preferences. Um, and he has, he's a manager of some, uh, a sex club out of Allendale, New Jersey that I had, uh, someone sent me that he's a manager of this in Allendale, whatever. So, okay, let's slow down for a minute here. So the women, what, like they've called you and said, what, he was like, talked down to me. He, I think cheated on most of them. He and came these on are, like, very people... strong with them. And then he somehow turns against them. And then they have to, they watch their back because certain things happen to them. Like one girl saying that her tires were slashed. Another girl, I think it's one of the same ones said that um, he locked her out of her house with that, where she was living. And then there were people after that. He was with a girl the day that he met Teresa. He was living with someone. And he went in and he was telling the girl, oh my God, you know, I met Teresa Judas. And she goes, I don't care. You know, whatever. He made a big deal of it. And then one day he just never came home. And that's how we broke up with her for Teresa. So, you know, he's got a little history. I don't know too much more about it. Um, I'm going to find the, uh, the text to say the name of the club. Let's do that. Does Teresa, I mean, I imagine she knows, does Teresa know that he was living with a woman when she met him? I don't know. I don't know. But he was. They're both women. Uh, their both names were are Vanessa. Vanessa. His ex-fiance was Vanessa. And this girl he was living with is Vanessa. So wait, so first he went from like an ex-fiance, then he met this new Vanessa who was yeah, living with There could her. have been some in between. Okay, so the name of it, see here? Louis Rulas, Allendale Sacred Sexuality Meetup. That's the name of the uh, Sacred Sexuality Meetup. And someone, the internet someone sent you sent this. this to me. And what does it say there? Hold on, it just... So like this is his club. Yeah, and then it's... You know what I'm saying? Wait, can you see? Yeah. I can see it, but yeah, what about you know, for everyone who's li just listening? What yeah, is it? Alan Deal meetup, and he's the organizer, and he's the uh, Like, what the is it, manager. like group sex? Yeah, I think it's, you know, a swingers type. He's the organizer. Huh. Yeah. Organizer member since 2016. So, you know, okay, listen, Teresa talks about sex all the time. She might not have a problem with it. I'm old fashioned. I, I don't, I'm not going to be involved with somebody who has this, yeah, I, I'd be freaking out. They came to me with some crazy sex things that they wanted to do. But I mean, like whoever sent that, man, maybe it's not true, right? Well, it's all over the internet and he's, he's the head of the club. Well, Teresa must know about that, right? Well, she, now she knows. I still think if she doesn't know he was living with someone, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. I mean... She's living, loving her life right now. You Dancing think? Oh my God dancing in the private jet you know what i mean he's coming on strong god only knows spending all kinds of money on her and she fell for him like i've heard that he's very charming and she fell for him i mean she i saw an interview she did which i never see i caught it on my on my news feed she was gushing like she was gushing that she's in love so god bless her let's just hope that two narcissists met their match and you think he really has money because i mean uh, it looks like it i mean they're fly you got to pay for a private jet he just bought a $3.5 million home um, that supposedly they're living together in on Melissa's block that she just left. So it looks like he has money. And the girls, the girls that spoke to me um, about this, they said he has money. Huh. Yeah, he's got money. This is, he's- Because you know, there's money and then like we discover like with Erica well, Some Jane people spend and, it. Right. And some people don't. He has it and he spends it. And you think she obviously must like that. He loves it. And you think what? He likes her- I think he like. I listen. I'm sure he cares for her. But he, we and you talked about this. He loves those cameras. He loves the cameras. He looks into the camera. That's he correct. It. He loves it. They're doing photo shoots together. He loves the camera. What? So do you think he's using her just for the camera? I don't think he's using her. I think that's part of the cherry on the top. You're basically calling him a fame whore. Well, opportunist. I don't know him well enough to say any of this, but. I'm saying from what I see, how fast he got involved into that, that part of her life and the way he poses and all that stuff. He's a poser. You know, he likes all that stuff. What about 
I mean, it doesn't sound like you think this will end well. Um, I hope it ends okay for her because I heard that his ki- her kids like him. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, whatever friends that have met him like him. But, you know, everyone is on their best behavior in the beginning. You really have to understand where the person's coming from and the red flags don't show up after a while. But that doesn't mean that just because he did this with other women, maybe he met his match with Teresa, you know? Maybe but he's got a history, but maybe he met his match. And you wish her well. Like you I do. It I wouldn't. Out. Listen, she's done me dirty bad, but I would never wish her to meet someone who was going to do something bad to her or she, I would never, I, I'm not, I'm a woman's woman. I'm not going to wish that on her. And no, you know, being a woman's woman and hearing these things about him, like it's a little nerve. It's a little, it's, I, I'm unnerved. I'm unnerved by it. Well, like I do. I mean, I've seen interviews where she's gushed and Gush. she has said, "This time I'm going for like a nice guy." I mean, she has said this in interviews. Like I I'm know. not going for that macho. I want the nice guy this time. He's not macho. He's on the beach with. Yeah, he's he he likes to take the shirt off. Yeah, yeah. So, David, all my dogs are all like, over you. If you guys this hear is hysterical. Uh, That's my dog paper. jumping all over David. There's like dogs. Literally. I can't even believe what I'm seeing here. This Kim is so cute. Multiple. I have seven, but some of them escaped, so I have four of them up here. And like they're literally loving these papers. So sorry about yeah, that. Yeah. So listen, here the thing is, I'm not. I'm really not going to try to uh, talk smack about this this guy. I don't know him. I'm only saying that I heard from the horse's mouth from the women that he was with, that there are some things that have gone on that leaves, that brings me pause, that, that makes me gasp a little bit. Um, he's in the limelight now, so he can't, do, he can't do to Teresa what he did to them because everyone, the world's gonna know. Teresa's yeah. an international reality star. Uh, some people hate her, but she's beloved. So he's not gonna get away with that. So he might be on his best behavior, we'll see. 